our planet is in danger and animals are most in danger because we forgot about how they're important not just for our planet and uh, they're important for us uh, because uh, some of them are in a red book and this is pretty bad and I think uh, we must talk about this a little bit more and our experts ready to talk about unique animals not just from red book but uh, from, uh, but just like uh, ant eater maybe. And today our first presenter will talk about white tigers. White tiger like living in the forest. The face of a white tiger is similar to that of any other Bengal tiger. The fur of this tiger is white, so it's easy, and sometimes I think it's grey. Um, uh, they have very interesting and beautiful eyes. It's so blue. Here we can't really see, but it is. Um, this tiger um, weigh about 190 or 260 kilograms, or 570 pounds. It's like two giant pandas. Uh, this animal can run quite fast around 60 miles per hour and uh, leave this animal 10-20 years. I want to talk about ant eaters. Ant eaters can be very small. Uh, and they weigh less than 400 grams with a body of uh, 15 centimeters or they can be very big with weight uh, about uh, more uh, than 30 kilograms with a body of one meter long and males are bigger than females and eaters usually live in Mexico, Central America, Bolivia, Brazil and Paraguay. Usually they live in tropical forests or in savannas. And eaters uh, like eat uh, bees, larvae, ants and flies. And eaters uh, have poor sight, uh, poor sight but an excellent sense of smell. Most ant eaters use it for foraging, feeding and defense. Hello everybody and now I will talk about big pandas. They uh, live in South Asia and their fur is white with black dots on it. Uh, big pandas are usually eat bamboo, but sometimes they eat small animals. They are only 1,200 individuals in the world. A lot of people scared of this beautiful creature that named Zora. Uh, this is Australian Tarantula and uh, I will say, say you some facts about it. Uh, the Australian Tarantulas can be a one measure scale. They can swim and they eat only meat. Uh, most of people think that uh, we need to save them in zoos or in wild nature and I think so too. Hello, Siroka. Hello, John. Uh, I've got an important question to you. Which question? What do you think we shall do with the unique animals? 
I think we must keep them in the zoos because it's a myth about uh, zoo can help unique animals. Only one person can live there. I think we must uh, keep them in reserve in wild nature. Uh, it's better than the zoo. Is it? Why? Because the reserve is bigger than zoos. Really? Yes. Have you been in the reserve? Mm, yes. Which one? one? Uh, <clears throat> in uh, Australia, there are uh, a lot of reserves. Uh, which unique animal do you see there? Uh, unique animal? Yeah. No, there are not a lot of unique animal. Uh, there were lions, African lions, and kangaroos. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I I completely agree that we have to keep all the animals, unique animals in reserves and maybe zoos. Thanks to our experts for their presentation. Uh, I was really happy to see to see them. Uh, I think people need to watch videos like that and understand how important how important to save not just animal but the planet we live on Сцена в беседке дубль 1 like living in the forest and Сцена диалог в беседке это дубль 3 about Сцена разговор в беседке дубль шесть. Вот! Снято!